Hey guys, it's Faye, and I'm here with a guide to make your travels on planet Mira just a little bit easier. Today, we're going to talk about managing probes on Frontier Nav. They can be a confusing aspect of the game, but once you get the hang of them, they will be your best friends. Forever. Basic probes, which are placed automatically when you discover a site, that's great and all, but let's talk upgrades from that basic probe. Probes come in many flavors, but the main two are mining and research probes. Research probes bring in ever so valuable credits, and mining probes bring in uranium and special minerals and items if the site has those available. Next up, the more advanced probes. These are your duplicator, booster, and storage probes. Duplicator probes copy every probe it's connected to via link. Booster probes boost every single probe that they're connected to by link. And storage probes increase your meridium cap. We'll go over probe links in a little bit. Oh, and there's combat probes, but they're kind of just not that exciting or useful, at least to me at this time. You can't buy probes like most other things in the game. Probes come from salvaging various treasures, which are denoted by yellow squares across Mira. You can also get them from completing certain missions. Some probes are even awarded from completing Collectopedia categories in entire areas. First things first, probes are not consumables. You will not lose them by placing one, and you can change them back to a basic data probe at any time. The only thing you will lose are credits if you change to anything but a basic data probe. High level probes cost more credits to change, however, so plan accordingly or save before messing with them. We're gonna start with probe sites, be sure to check them out before placing probes. They have letter grades to show you what type of probe to use and produce the best results for you. Qualities of sites are ranked from the letter grades A to F and have several categories. Production is related to mining probes. This determines how well this spot produces meridium. Revenue is related to research probes. This determines how well this spot yields credits. Combat support is how well placing a combat probe here affects your fighting. This is something I'm going to be skipping, however, because I don't find it to be worth it at this time. People in New LA want to see this planet from the safety of the city. There can be multiple sightseeing spots on a probe site, and you must discover them to get the bonus revenue from each sightseeing spot. These sites are all adjacent to the hex that hosts the probe site that has them listed. It will update when you discover them. Lastly, the probe site info box will list mineable resources if there are any in that spot. You must use a mining probe on the site to gain access to any of these alongside your meridium. This should be pretty straightforward, but if a site has an A in revenue, put a research probe there. Likewise, if it has an A in production, place a mining probe there. Here's what we want to do. Maximize probe profits of credits and meridium, and chaining probes is the best way to do this. You may have noticed that if you have discovered adjacent probe sites, that a blue line now connects them. That means the sites are linked, and that's all you need to do in order to establish a link. Using these links, we can create chain effects on our probes by using both the same type and rank of probes. You need at least three probes of the same rank and type to start a chain, and this yields a 30% efficiency bonus. You can chain a maximum of five probes for a 50% efficiency bonus. Every single probe must be adjacent to chain as well, or else you don't get a bonus at all. You also cannot use duplicator probes to create a chain or to continue one. Another interesting note is that storage probes can chain like mining and research probes. Next up, general probe placement strategies. Generally, you want to place mining and research probes in the best site suited to them. 
If link sites don't complement them, use storage, booster, and duplicator probes to enhance the sites that do work with your research and mining probes. Another thing to keep in mind is that it can be better to link numerous lower ranked probes instead of just slapping the highest grade of probe you have into every spot randomly. While you can change probes, you can't always change what the actual probe sites are like in a link, so make the best of it using your advanced probes. Several missions require you to reach a certain amount of credit revenue per Frontier Nav return, most notably the Skell License mission available after Chapter 6 requires you to earn 15,000 credits in a single return from Frontier Nav. While you can do this almost anywhere, Oblivia is probably the best area to set this up in using research with sightseeing spots discovered. Using these sightseeing spots in addition to your duplicator and booster probes should help you get to that 15,000 return in no time. I hope this helps you out in your adventures on the planet Mira. This has been your fellow Blade member Faye, and thanks for watching.